fast is very very important in each and every paper almost every year this question is asked so what is the first question they are asking about fast that what's the full form of fast yes so this is focused assessment with sonography for trauma first question is this one is the focused assessment with sonography for trauma simple so actually speaking it's sonography means it's ultrasound so what is fast it's emergency ultrasound which is performed very fast very fast means it is performed within two to four minutes so fast is nothing it's an emergency ultrasound clear and it's done very fast means it is performed quickly within two to four minutes clear now what we are going to assess with this fast see whenever fast is positive it means there is bleeding or perforation so it is going to collect the fluid where it is going to assess can you see this is heart this is liver this is spleen and this is pelvis so what this fast is going to assess it is going to assess this pericardial sac this perihepatic region perisplenic region and pelvis so what it is going to assess it is going to assess four p's what are four p's pericardial sac perihepatic region perisplenic region and pelvis and in which sequence it is going to assess it is going to assess these four p's in this sequence first second third and fourth so what are four p's first is pericardial sac second is perihepatic region third is perisplenic region and fourth is pelvis okay so how many traditional views are there in fast four views so four p's are assessed so how to remember four p's four minutes now see the important points related to the fast okay so if we have to assess this pericardial sac which view is done so how we are going to assess this pericardial sac so for pericardial sac there is sub ziphoid transverse view sub ziphoid transverse view for perihepatic region we go for right upper quadrant longitudinal view and for the spleen it's the left upper quadrant longitudinal view if we have to assess the pelvis for pelvis there is suprapubic transverse and longitudinal view okay so see the sequence you can see here that this is one for pericardial sac two for perihepatic region three for perisplenic region and four for pelvis and see this is the sequence clear and for pericardial sac the name of you is sub ziphoid transverse view for perihepatic region it's right upper quadrant longitudinal view for perisplenic region left upper quadrant longitudinal view and for pelvis it is suprapubic longitudinal and transverse view so how many traditional views in fast so traditional views in fast there are four four traditional views nowadays questions are being asked about e fast what is the full form extended fast so when fast is being extended to include right thoracic and left thoracic view so here you can see we are going to include right thoracic and left thoracic view it is known as e fast so how many views are there in e fast total six views okay so another important point e fast the full form is extended fast and how many views are there there are six views clear so what are the two additional views here there is right and left thoracic views simple what was the question in names see if a patient is having pneumothorax and we are going to perform the fast e fast so on e fast which sign is seen and it is known as barcode sign also known as stratosphere sign okay so in patients of pneumothorax if the patient is having pneumothorax 
what's the name of sign on e fast it's also known as barcode sign also known as stratosphere sign so barcode sign also known as stratosphere sign so these are the important points related to fast and i'm going to repeat this is the first investigation done in patients of blunt trauma abdomen fast has replaced dpl so nowadays generally we don't go for dpl in majority of blunt trauma abdomen patients what is the full form of dpl it's the diagnostic peritoneal lavage so we are going to discuss dpl the full form of dpl is diagnostic peritoneal lavage clear so you can see the term is self explanatory so what is done in dpl or diagnostic peritoneal lavage we have to perform the peritoneal lavage why to make the diagnosis whether patient is having bleeding or perforation so patient is having bleeding or perforation to make this diagnosis we are performing the peritoneal lavage and for lavage which solution is used generally we use saline normal saline sometimes we use ringer lactate also so how we perform this diagnostic peritoneal lavage see diagnostic peritoneal lavage so it is performed in patients of blunt trauma abdomen so suppose this is the patient in this patient i have to give midline incision vertical incision location inframbilical so inframbilical midline vertical incision is given okay and then we have to insert a catheter which is directed towards pelvis what's the name of catheter used it's the dpl catheter catheter is dpl means diagnostic peritoneal lavage catheter so see after this incision i'm going to insert the catheter you can see catheter is inserted and it is directed towards the pelvis after that we have to attach a syringe and with syringe we perform the aspiration to see whether some frank blood is there in the peritoneal cavity or not so we have to perform the aspiration and after aspiration we are going to attach with attach the catheter with iv fluid bag and in this iv fluid bag there is 1 liter of normal saline or ringer lactate right now this fluid is going inside the peritoneal cavity and this bag iv fluid bag is now put down so whatever the fluid is there in the peritoneal cavity slowly slowly it starts collecting how have a look so in this picture you can see that i have inserted this dpl catheter and this dpl catheter is directed towards the pelvis and here you can notice that there is peritoneal collection after that this dpl when we perform the aspiration with syringe and then this dpl catheter is attached to iv tubings and can you see this is iv fluid bag what is here preferably normal saline sometimes ringer lactate what is the quantity which is instilled 1 liter clear now this saline goes into peritoneal cavity and now we are going to put this iv fluid bag on the ground means it is put down and when we are going to place it down can you see here now you are going to notice that whatever the collection is there in the peritoneal cavity slowly slowly it starts going where into this bag clear so it is collected in the bag and when it's collected we are going to send this fluid for examination so whatever the fluid is here this is sent for examination okay simple so in which cases we are going to consider that dpl is positive diagnostic peritoneal lavage is positive now see if at the time of aspiration you aspirated more than 10 ml of frank blood it means it is positive or whatever the fluid you are going to send for examination that is known as effluent so if effluent is having more than 1 lakh of rbcs more than 500 wbcs or there is presence of fecal matter vegetable matter bile bacteria or amylase is more than 175 international units per deciliter in all these cases dpl is considered positive which means there is either bleeding or perforation so in which cases dpl is considered positive so dpl is considered positive so first when 10 ml frank blood is aspirated or returned effluent so whatever the fluid is there it contains rbcs how much 
more than 1 lakh per mm cube wbc is how much more than 500 per mm cube or there is presence of bile bacteria fecal matter vegetable matter presence of bile bacteria fecal matter vegetable matter it suggests what perforation or there is a mileage more than 175 international units per deciliter so in exam what they are asking in exam they are asking the values how much friend blood more than 10 ml how much rbcs more than 1 lakh wbcs more than 500 and a mileage more than 175 international units per deciliter but see fast has replaced dpl so the first investigation done in blunt trauma abdomen patients is fast